Every year, the demand for goat and sheep meat has increased in the United States. Prices for goats and sheep have increased every year steadily for the last three decades. So is it profitable to raise goats and sheep? Well, let's crunch some numbers. Come along. So let's start off by talking about expenses. Your greatest expense is going to be your infrastructure, your land, your barns, fencing, water lines, whatever else may be involved in that. That's pretty much going to be the same regardless of what type of livestock you're raising. So that doesn't change a whole lot depending on whether you're raising cattle or goats or sheep. Now, for the purpose of this video, we're not gonna focus on the cost and expenses of infrastructure. There's just too many variables in that, whether you have land and fencing already in place, whether you have to build brand new barns, there's just too many variables in that. So the purpose of this video, we're going to look at some expenses dealing with the cost of livestock and just daily operational expenses. So your next biggest expense is going to come in the form of your initial breeding stock, the animals that you purchase to get started. And while that's going to fluctuate depending on the time of year and it increases every year, it seems like every year they get more expensive, at current prices you can expect to spend about $175 to $225 for a good adult breeding age female. Adult males are going to cost you somewhere between $250 and $500 for a good breeding age male. All right, so the last expense to figure in is your regular operating expenses. This is gonna be your hay, feed, vet expenses. It's difficult to put an exact figure on this because it's gonna vary depending on your circumstances. If you live in a really cold climate, then probably you're gonna have a lot more expense in hay and feed. I live in Northwest Alabama, it's relatively mild. I have easy access to hay. And so my expenses are probably going to be lower than it would be for someone who lived up north. On average, my expenses per adult head is $25 to $30 a year annually. So I have about $25 to $30 of medicine and feed in each of my adult animals. And so this is not a major expense considering your other expenses such as uh, infrastructure or the purchase of the, of the breeding stock itself. So it's relatively cheap to feed and to care for goats and sheep through the course of the year. The gestation period for an adult goat or sheep is five months. They'll carry for five months, then they'll lamb or kid, they'll usually nurse for three months, and then usually they'll breed back. So you're looking at having lambs or kids probably about every eight months, if thing all, all else being equal. An adult you will usually produce between one and three lambs or kids per lambing. That'll depend some upon her genetics, but more it will depend upon the condition that she's in when she's bred. If she's in really good condition when she's bred, she's more likely to produce twins or triplets. If she's in rather poor condition when she's bred, she's more likely to produce a single. Uh, also, if it's a first-time mother, it's more likely to have a single rather than twins, as if it's older, eight years, nine years old, something like that, it's more likely to produce a single rather than twins. And uh, So you can usually expect an average lambing or kidding to produce about 1.7 lambs or kid per lambing. That's been my average over the years. So if we can expect an adult female to have 1.7 lambs or kids per lambing and per kidding, and one lambing or kidding per every eight months, that's going to average out to be about two and a half lambs or kids per year per adult female. We're going to have to factor in some losses there, let's say 10%. And just to be conservative, let's just say that an adult female should be able to produce us two lambs or two kids per year. That'll give us a figure to work with. So what can you expect to sell the lambs or the kids for? Well, that's going to fluctuate greatly depending on the time of year and maybe what holidays are taking place. But at current prices, if you have a 50 pound lamb or a 50 pound kid, you can expect to get somewhere between 75 to $100 for it. So if we can get an adult female to raise us 
two lambs or kid per year, and we can average $75 to $100 per lamb or per kid, in the first year, we should be able to almost cover all of our initial expense that we had in the breeding stock, maybe even make a profit the first year, and then clear about $175 a head per, year, per adult female thereafter, every year thereafter. And so if we had a herd of, of 10, we should be able to do about 1750. If we had a herd of 20, about 35, a herd of, of 30, around 52. $100 a year. If you had a herd of 50, you're looking at around $8,700, something of that, and you can just continue to, to see how that would work. Considering you can run quite a few goats and sheep per acre, you can see my video about how many goats and sheep per acre you may be able to sustain on your property, what your stocking rate may be. But that being the case, you can make a pretty good amount of money. I'm not saying you're going to get fabulously wealthy, but as far as farming goes, you can make your land turn some profit for you. So these are figures that come from my experience and the experience of some people I know. You should never think that you're just going to be able to throw 50 goats or sheep out into a pasture and in a year's time an $8,000 check is going to appear in your mailbox. They're relatively fragile animals and they require some diligence. They require some hard work. But if you're willing to learn and you're willing to apply yourself and put the work into it, there's some good money that can be made in goats and sheep. So is it worth it? Well, that depends. If you like farming and enjoy animals, you're willing to do some hard work and endure a few setbacks and heartaches along the way, then yeah, it's definitely worth it. But if you don't enjoy it, do something else. Life is too short to spend your time doing something that you don't enjoy just to make a buck. I appreciate you watching the video. If you found it helpful, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel for more content like this. And as always, if you're in northwest Alabama or in the general area within driving distance of northwest Alabama and you need some goats and sheep, give me a call, see what I have available. Thanks again for watching. Happy farming.